You want to start making music, but you don't really know how to start making a song. Well, that's why I'm here today. Yo, what is up, guys? We're continuing video. My name is Walker, and today I'm gonna tell you five different ways to start a song. And as you want me to go directly to the topic of the video, let's do it. But please, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. The way number one to start a song, and the most common one, is with chord progressions. Yeah, everybody says this, but this is the truth. It doesn't matter what genre you're making, that your song is gonna have chords and a melody. So, why don't you start with the chords? The first thing you need to know is what key you're gonna use. For example, let's say you're gonna use D major. So, just put it here, or use the um, helpers of the piano row, or the way you prefer. But make sure you know the key you're gonna use. And now, just go here to a piano sound. And start with one note, for example, this one. And now, for example, this, this, and this. From here, start creating your chords. And you have your chords. And if you're not good at making chords, or you don't really know how to make them, I have a chords MIDI pack where I have a lot of chords that you can just get them, you know, and use them in your songs. And below the description, you have the link to go and get this pack. The way number two is with the melody rhythm. I'm sure that sometimes you are doing another thing like cooking, walking, you are with your friends, you're playing video games, and then suddenly a melody rhythm comes to your mind, or just a melody. Din, 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 din. So why don't you take this rhythm, you put it in your DAW and you start from there. For example, right now I have this rhythm in my mind. So from here what you can do is start just creating the melody. And from here you can start creating the chords. For example, let's try the first chord we used before. And from here you can go down or you can go up and just try different chords and let's see if it works. And with this simple thing that is the rhythm of a melody that it comes to your mind, you can start the song. You first make the melody as I did, then you put the chords as I did, then you cre start creating the breakdown, you choose the sound, you choose pads, you choose a guitar, and then or step by step you're gonna have your breakdown and from here you can go to the drop, or first start from the drop and then go to a breakdown, it doesn't really matter. The third way to start your song is using loops from packs. There are a lot of packs that have construction kits or melody loops or guitar loops or something like this. You can take any of those sounds, put them in your DAW, and from there start creating your song. Then if you like it and it fits so well, you can use it or just delete it and you're gonna have the rest of the things that you added on top of that. For example, I found this violin. And this violin inspires me a lot. For example, I can just go with the tempo it has, that is 128, and I start making, for example, a Paris House song, a Future House, something like this. But it also inspires me a lot to make something more like trap. So I'm gonna put here one pattern with the new key, that is D minor, and I'm just gonna try to create some chords. Let's start with D, and let's see how this works. For example, this one doesn't work. Now that we have these chords, here we can start adding some sound. For example, I'm gonna add a shaker and a snap. And now that we have this, what we can do is just leave this violin or just mute it. but at least it inspired us to start this idea. Or for example, I said it inspired me a bit to make a trap song, so maybe you can start with this. And then again, you can leave this violin or just delete it or try to create this melody with another sound so it's way more unique. The way number four, and for me the best one, is using vocals. You can use vocals from different sample packs or vocals from other songs that you get the cappella because of your missed context, you extract them or other ways. But this is gonna help you a lot to start your songs. Actually, it's something that I do a lot. Most of the times I just start with the chords and then I try to find a vocal that fits these chords. But you can start with the vocal and because of the vocal, you make the chords. And then thanks to this vocal, it helps me to know what kind of things I can add to the song on the arrangement of it. If you want to make chords that fit the vocal, I recommend to go and check this video that I did some time ago. But in the end, the vocal, what it's gonna do is inspire you and let you know more or less how it's gonna sound the end result of the song you're making. So for example, you listen to the vocal, you make the chords, and now it's like, okay, in this vocal, it fits well enough to add cymbals, or to add a snap, or to add claps, or now it's better to add more sounds, now it's better to just take everything out and just leave the piano. Then what you have to do is delete the vocal and add your own vocal. Of course, if you 
use a sample pack, you can use that vocal if you want to. But if you use the vocal of a famous song, of course you cannot do it. Unless you're making a bootleg or you're making a remix to try to be an official remix. And last but not least, the way number five is starting with drums or with sound. This depends a bit on the genre, of course. But for example, if you're making trap, maybe it's good to just start adding some drums, you know, like an 808, claps and cymbals. And from there, you, maybe you, you start having an idea on how to start the, the song, how to, what kind of chords is gonna fit in this song, what kind of melody. Or maybe if you're making other genres like, for example, hardstyle or dubstep, maybe you're just looking on your presets and you find a really good growl that is gonna fit super well in a dubstep song and you start from there. Or maybe you're making hardstyle and you find a screech that is so nice and you like a lot and from there you can start. For example, if we have the drums that we had in the previous tip, From this, maybe you listen to it a couple of times and now you start having an idea of a melody that is gonna fit well in this beat. Or for example, I, I found this creature that I like. So what I'm gonna do is try to make it fit better the grid. And now I just put this kick here and we start having this idea. Of course, it's a very basic idea, but from here you can start making the song. You just have this, you start adding new sounds, new elements on the drop, and you have the first mid intro. From here you can create the previous build-up, and from here you can start creating your song, you know? But this way, at least you start it out of a sound. So these are the five most common ways, in my opinion, the best ways to start a song. But of course, if you're not inspired, it doesn't really matter. So if you're not inspired, my advice is to check this video that I did long time ago, where I give you some tips to get inspiration, and this way start getting the ideas. And if you can the tips of this inspiration video and the tips of this video that you just watched then you're gonna start making the songs that you want to make so guys nothing else hope this video helped you thank you so much for watching leave down below in the comments if you have any other ways to start your songs and see you in the next video